Hi, my name is Bilal and today I'm going to show you how you can use Estera Data Prep to perform complex data preparation tasks that usually take hours in a matter of minutes. We will be working with marketing data recorded by two different sources in CSV formats and be preparing it for further data analysis using Data Prep. Let's start by reading a file. We will select the Read File Source action from the Data Prep toolbar. Once the changes are applied, the data is automatically previewed on the grid. Data prep actions are used in the form of recipes, which are managed in the Data Prep Recipe panel. Now in this tool, a wide variety of column manipulation actions and transformations are available in the toolbar. But you can also use these by right-clicking the columns on the grid. Now we have a similar file that we want to perform our data preparation tasks on. So let's consolidate it with this file by leveraging the union transformation. The resulting merge dataset looks something like this. On the bottom right corner, you can view the number of rows being displayed on the grid. Now that our data is consolidated, let's start cleaning it. In the phone number column, we can see that there are some unwanted characters present in the data that need to be removed. We will use the Remove action from the Cleanse category to achieve this. Next, we see that in the Occupation column, each source has recorded the data in different title cases. In Data Prep, cases can be adjusted by using the Change Case action. Now here we have a Data Profile browser, which offers visualizations to users that allow them to gain insights into how healthy their data is and how every data is grouped in a particular column. According to the bar chart of the occupation column, we see that NAN was used in one of the sources to record the other category of data. Let's standardize this by using the find and replace action to replace all the NAN values with the value other. Now, as you can see, the occupation column looks better organized. We can also rename columns to suit our needs. Let's change the name of the recency column as it has an extra underscore. Moving forward, we notice that the email column is too far at the end of the file. You can move it by selecting and dragging the column to wherever you want to place it. Or if the preview is too large, you can specify a position in the recipe configuration where you would like to move it. Now, if you want to see what the data looked like before the transformations you applied, you can simply select the recipe from the recipe panel and click preview. We can further export the prepared data to Excel or CSV files. Let's configure a recipe to write our data to an Excel destination. Finally, to run all the recipe actions in the data prep artifact, simply click the execute data prep recipe button. This will create a job that is once completed, your data will be prepared. One of our clients used to spend four hours every day to prepare their data. But with Estera Data Prep, they performed the same task under just five minutes. Contact us today to learn how Estera can help meet your specific data preparation needs.